What's up? In clinical practice, we have two major subtypes of liver injury. It's hepatocellular predominant and cholestatic predominant. Cholestatic predominant injury is a medical term that we use for bile stasis. Because from Greek, chole means bile. Basically, any increase in amount of bile in the biliary tract causes elevation in GGT or LP. Gamma glutamyl transpeptidase and alkaline phosphatase are enzymes that are present in hepatocytes and biliary epithelial cells. And the function of these enzymes is to transport metabolites across the cellular membrane. So to explain how bile stasis causes elevation in both gamma glutamyl transpeptidase and alkaline phosphatase, here we have biliary cells, bile compartment, and blood compartment. In normal condition, when hepatocytes secrete bile, only a limited amount of bile is located in the biliary tract at a particular moment of time. For example, 50 milliliters. And when bile is present near biliary cells, biliary salts stimulate biliary cells to produce GGT and ALP. Then both these enzymes are delivered to the cellular surface where they provide transportation of metabolites across the cellular membrane. And as we know, epithelium is one of the tissues with the highest turnover rate. Basically, it's a process when old cells die and they are replaced by the new cells, so-called tissue renewal. When biliary cells die, the inner content of the cell is released into the blood, including GGT and ALP. So the turnover of the biliary cells results in the release of GGT and ALP into the blood. And when we assess the level of GGT and ALP in the blood, in normal condition, the level of GGT is between 5 to 40 units, and the level of alkaline phosphatase is between 20 to 70 units. But for example, if stone cause obstruction in the biliary tract, the flow of bile into the duodenum decreased, so blood will begin to accumulate in the biliary system. Exactly this condition we call cholestasis. I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about what this! What do you feel good about anything? So now it will be not 50 milliliters of bile in the biliary tract. With cholestasis, it will be 150. The more bile accumulate, the higher the amount of bile salts in the biliary tract. With increasing amount of bile salts, the stimulation of the biliary cells increase. In response to this, biliary cells produce more GGT and ALP. Then both these enzymes are delivered to the cellular surface, where they provide transportation of metabolites across the cellular membrane. And in this case, with cellular turnover, instead of one molecule of GGT and ALP, Biliary tract will release into the blood three molecules. So now the level of GGT and ALP will be three times higher than normal. For example, the level of GGT will be 100 and the level of ALP will be 200. You see, there is only one constant. One universal, it is the only real truth. Causality. Action, reaction, cause. If we compare GGT and ALP, GGT is more specific for the biliary tract, because alkaline phosphatase is located not only in the biliary tract, but also in the bone tissue, and during pregnancy in placenta. So if only ALP is elevated, then probably pathology is related to the bone tissue, or it can be the case in pregnancy. But if both GGT and ALP are elevated, we can suppose that it's caused by cholestasis. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Ciao! What's that mean? Ciao. It's Italian. It means food. 